to May and your career and money reading. This is for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you why you should watch this for your rising sign and not your sun sign. If you don't give a shit, go ahead and watch it, whatever, but it's going to be more accurate for your rising sign. Um, we're going to cover what do career and money look like for you in general this month? What should you be looking forward to? What's going to be your biggest annoyance? Where to look more closely and then general advice and guidance for you. Um, the decks I'm using are this one here, the Psychic Tarot Oracle, which is actually a tarot deck and not an oracle deck, and then the um, Number Guidance deck. Okay, let's get started. Oh, there's links in the description box below um, that are affiliate links for each of these decks. If you like the deck and you want one for yourself, because that's a common question I get in the comments, um, it doesn't cost you more to get them through that link. It just helps me keep making these videos. Okay, let's get started. Capricorn, what does career look like and money look like for you this month? Well, the theme as far as career goes means contemplation, using your intuition as strongly as you can. What is your gut saying in regards to your career? Trust it 100%, okay? And um, so your decisions don't necessarily need to be rational. They just need to be in your heart and what you feel in your gut, what feels right to you. That's 100% how you should be making your decisions this month. In regards to your money, the overall theme is like when things change, they're going to change quickly for you. And in your benefit, it'll be like a new beginning. And so you might be afraid of change, but try not to be because it's going to be something awesome for you. I think Cancer had something similar. So yay, I'm excited. Um, but then the other theme here is like change, okay? Change is hard, it's disruptive, it's a little bit scary. Um, so you can talk about these changes like because I think talking about it with somebody else actually might really help you to feel more comfortable with what's coming to you. So what do you have to look forward to in career and then um, in regards to your money? So this month, um, your heart chakra might not be super open in regards to your career, but there are people around you that you should be communicating with actually. Um, you should be talking about your emotions and then trusting your gut instincts, not necessarily you know, how you feel about something um, in regards to your emotional state, but what your gut is telling you. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's rational or not, trust what you're, um, what you're assuming is right, your psychic abilities, okay? Um, don't try to logic everything to the to the ground. Uh, basically, in regards to your money, you have to look forward to these new beginnings. All of a sudden, things are going to change in your benefit and they're going to happen fast. So be ready for that. Change can be uncomfortable, even if it's really, really good. Okay, like whatever cycle you're in right now in regards to your money, it's going to change for the better very soon. So get pumped up. Okay, so what's your biggest annoyance going to be this month in regards to career and money? Um, the biggest annoyance in regards to career is that, you know, maybe things aren't changing as quickly as you want them to, or maybe change in general is hard and it makes you feel uncomfortable. But in regards to money, they're just saying, look, you're safe and secure. And as things expand, be patient with yourself. Um, and, and I guess like be persistent in acquiring more of it. It's coming for you. OK, I just love that. You're going to feel really content with what happens. Um, and is it all going to happen in the month of May? No. For the majority of you, yes. But I think there's like 20% of you that it's like things start working behind the scenes and then maybe coming in June or July, you start seeing the payoff. Now, where do you need to look more closely in, at your life in regards to career and money? In regards to career, you've got to be more patient and you've got to plan a little bit better so that things expand in a way that you feel comfortable with. Because like I said, there's a lot of growth, a lot of movement in regards to money. I mean, same thing, new beginnings, you're coming out of a cycle. And um, so, you know, look really closely at allowing certain things to end and die and change because they are for the better. And I know it seems redundant, but it's like that's a really strong message coming through. And so that's why. Um, general guidance and advice for you this month is just don't be afraid to celebrate. What's coming for you is fated. It is destiny. You deserve it. Um, be really open and appreciative of it. You know, express a lot of joy and gratitude. This 
link right here, or um, it's not a link, but this article right here will help you to express gratitudes. And then this one right here will also um, help you to stay in this positive money and abundance flow. Okay, because yay, new beginnings in a really positive and um, financially lucrative way for you. I'm so excited. Um, see you next month. Oh, 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 oh,